Hello everybody, today we're working on a wacky machine. That's where we create a machine that uses an animal and their attribute or their natural power. Stopping for a sip of coffee. Well, a monkey could create a system of collecting coffee beans for Mr. C to drink the juice of those said beans in the morning and wake up, uh, which is coming in handy today. Thank you, Frontier Schools, for providing coffee and a bagel this morning. That was nice. And so I'm thinking of animals and their attributes and what they're good at. Monkeys are good at climbing. Cows are good at eating grass. So are goats. A goat is a perfect natural lawnmower, but they are destructive. They'll, they will eat probably the tires off your car if they're hungry enough or the antenna or whatever they can. So they're probably not good in that way as far as keeping a nice house. A monkey would not be a good maid because uh, they probably go to the bathroom anywhere they want to, so that would create more of a mess. Dogs are good at barking at the door. Even if it's a doorbell on television, my dog barks at that. But besides that, she's a very good sleeper. She's good at eating and sleeping and barking but she's not a great alarm system as far as um, if somebody did break in, uh, that dog probably would not help us much. But talked about horses, goats, I've talked about monkeys, I've talked about dogs. Let's decide on an animal and what they are good at. I wanted to sketch a few different animal forms to show you, well, this is kind of an easy way to draw this animal. And let's see if you can guess what it is. Monkey? All right. My favorite animals. Uh, I think I rode one when I was a little kid at a circus. They don't do that anymore, but I want to draw big animals, really big, small animals, slightly smaller. And that's just a quick sketch of an elephant. And then they're good at moving water, right? Um, they're also very heavy, very strong. So these are just animals that I'm sketching. Um, a lion's face is kind of like, let's see if I'm doing it right. Big eyes, ears, and then their mane. That's the hair around. He looks kind of crazy. Something like that for a lion's face. Just going real quickly. Think of the animal, maybe sketch them trying to draw a little goat. They have pointy eyes, pointy nose, kind of. There's the horns, and then they have ears that stand up like that, or go out. So there's a few animals. Thinking about machines, you need wheels, probably, if it's a rolling machine. Um, if we did that assignment, how to draw a car, you probably has, have a jump start on this. Think about how you're going to create your machine for the wacky machine. So I think I'll use a monkey for this purpose. On my wacky machine, I need a person, an animal, and I'm going to put skill. What is that animal good at? And then a machine. And then that machine needs a purpose. Purpose, what does it do? And I'm going to write wacky machine. So person plus an animal skill plus a machine purpose equals a wacky machine. All right. Let's think about what a monkey is good at. 
They're social animals. They're good at climbing trees. They have an order to their pack and a system of who's the leader and who's not and who does what job. And they do move up and promote each other like humans sometimes do. Uh, they're good at climbing and collecting things. So this could be the perfect banana go-getter if it didn't eat all the bananas. So you might think about, well, what is the monkey going to have to have? Made me think about coronavirus. Well, if the monkey had a mask on, it would take a second to take that mask off and then it could get rewarded with a banana or two or 20, however many it wanted to eat. I think they eat the bananas quite a bit, but maybe it'd have a mask on and it only released or opened or, or came off of the monkey when they had collected 20 or 30 or 50 or 100 monkeys. So that's something to think about why the monkey would save the bananas and give to the human in the machine so the machine could sort the ripe ones from the not ripe ones and the rotten ones and throw them away. The monkey would be the first control factor. He would decide which ones are good and collect them, but then the machine would inspect them and then the human would make sure. So there'd be three checks of that. Let's see. So I forget what a banana tree looks like. I could look it up, but let's call it a tropical tree. I'm going to put a horizon line that's right to left, side to side, we know. Putting, putting a tree here, saying it's a tropical kind of tree. So I have a setting. See the setting? It is kind of a sandy area. And then they have these balloons growing off, balloons, bananas, sorry. More coffee, thank you. So I have bananas, I will color those yellow. Now the monkey, I'm simply gonna, going to draw him small, but he is pointing at these bananas. It's hard to draw really great features with the tiny crayon, but I'm doing my best. That tail tells me it's a monkey. And then if I color it brown or black, that'll, that will help too. So he's pointing at the bananas. There is a remote control wheelbarrow. I'm going to say, and then it is holding all these bananas. I'm just sticking these shapes in over and over. It's collected a lot of bananas so far. And then how would this be powered? Well, maybe it has a man sitting here. Oh, he's small, maybe it's a kid. Uh, they have a job to do. They like to collect bananas, their machine. And so he climbs up and he throws the banana here. What noise would it make for a monkey to throw a banana? Chomp, I'm gonna make that up. That is my onomatopoeia, chomp. That's my action word. So that's the noise that the banana makes. I have the attribute of the monkey, monkey. Go getter. Monkey go getter. Let's call it banana, B-A-N-A-N-A, B-A-N. monkey go getter so that is the name of my edition oh, let's call it banana monkey go getter 2020 banana monkey getter 2020 name of my invention i have arrows to show i have a sound that it makes i have my human 
have my animal. I have my resource. I'm learning to spell this word again. There we go, resource is banana. Now all I have to do, I have my title, my action word, action word. You have a chance to create your own onomatopoeia word. There we go. And so animal, human, resource, that's banana. Banana monkey go getter. I need to add color. So if you don't take the time to color all this in, it will still work like a schematic or an architectural drawing. This is like a cutaway or a side view diagram. You might see this in a house rendering. They call it an elevation, frontal elevation drawing. I think if I remember correctly, draw in some of these things, just add some color. You don't have to color in the sky and the sand and all that stuff, but we do want to add color so we have some visual delight here. The longer you take on it, the better it'll look. You might spend more time on this than I do. I'm just trying to get an idea across. So I'm gonna say my wagon is red, if I can find a red. There's a pink, I don't want a pink wagon, but this is bright enough. So there's my little red pink wagon that carries my bananas and my human sits on that and he's got a blue shirt and a blue hat and blue pants and he is the guy uh, checking with the monkey and making sure everything gets done monkey i'm coloring in brown because he's kind of the star of the picture i'm going light on the face and I hope you send me a picture of your work. All this takes is a pencil, paper, crayons, simple stuff. Um, if you did this in class, please tell me I did this in class. If you do this from home, please send me a picture so I can see your work. I appreciate it. Hopefully you can use a person, pick a different animal um, that has a skill uh, the machine has a purpose. What does it do? How does it work with the animal and the person? And then you've created a wacky machine. Thank you, boys and girls.